Today we are talking about Annie Ann's pretzels and which ones are the highest in protein, highest in fat, and highest in fiber so that you know what you need to order at the Orlando International Airport on your way to or from Disney World. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Fitness Empowerment by Danny, a brand dedicated to flexible nutrition, macronutrient tracking, and a lifestyle without unhealthy extremes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny Phillips. I am your host and this is your resource for fitness, food, travel when going to or from Disney World. I'm a Disney World lover, I'm a food lover, I love to travel, I love to be healthy, and so I wanted to give you the best options at the restaurants that provide nutrition facts in the Orlando International Airport. Because chances are, if you are not driving and you don't live close enough to drive, you are flying in and out of the Orlando International Airport, and you've probably been traveling all day, you're probably really hungry, and I know, when you walk by Annie Ann's, you get that smell, you get that scent, they're gonna draw you in with those pretzels and you're gonna want some. So you may as well know beforehand which ones are gonna be more optimal for your nutrition and for your you know, journey. You want a magical journey. You don't wanna feel like crap on your way home from Disney. You wanna feel like, oh, I've had this magical experience and feel really good when you get home. So let's dive into the content here, okay? All right, so Annie Ann's, it's gonna be located in three different locations within the Orlando International Airport. And I know if you're not traveling to Disney, there's a bunch of Annie Ann's everywhere else too. So the footage you're gonna see from today is not from the Orlando International Airport, but the pretzels are the same. So let's jump into this. They're gonna be in the main terminal food court. So no matter what terminal you're in, the main terminal food court, everybody can get to it. You're gonna find them there. They're open 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. The other two, they're gonna be located gates 100 to 129 at airside two from seven to 8 p.m. and from gate 70 to 99, airside four, seven to 8 p.m. or 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. The airside is essentially means you've already gone through security. And if you wanna know the exact terminal and airside, whatever that is for your specific flight, then go to orlandoairports.net slash flights. They have it all laid out, like which airlines are which airside numbers and things like that. So head there and then you can figure out exactly if any ends is in the terminal that you're going to be flying in or out of. Okay, so the different categories. We're gonna go through the highest fat, highest protein, highest fiber items in all these categories. So we've got the classic pretzel, we've got pretzel dogs, we've got pretzel nuggets, we've got the dips, and we've got breakfast products, we've got pretzel pizzas, I would love to try one of those, and smoothies. They also have a bunch of other drinks, but we're gonna stick to more of the food beverages today. So that's seven categories we're gonna go through for each of these. Now, not every Annie Ann's is gonna have all of these things, so take it or leave it, but just know which options are the best. Probably the options I'm gonna to mention today are at all of the locations, but just be aware, you might not see like the pretzel pizzas everywhere. So it just kind of depends on the location, on the day, what they have available, what people have already ordered, things like that. So just keep that in mind, keep your options open. For the classic pretzel category, when it comes to the things that have highest amount of protein, you're gonna to find today that a lot of these things are very similar. So most of these pretzels have about eight grams of protein in them. The pepperoni pretzel with and without butter has 15 grams of protein, so that's awesome. But keep in mind, if it's higher in protein because it's got pepperoni on it, that probably means it's higher in fat because pepperoni is a cured meat, which means it's gonna be higher, higher in fat um, for the most part. So pepperoni higher in fat, and let's see, highest fiber items. Just about all of these pretzels have two grams of fiber, which is not much when you're comparing that to the total number of carbohydrates per pretzel, which ranges for most of these between about 63 and 84 grams of carbohydrates for the entire pretzel. So I only had half a serving today when I went and got a pretzel, keep that in mind. I know it's hard to restrain from you know not eating an entire pretzel, so make sure you have a friend to share it with. Okay, highest in fat for the classic pretzel category. We've got the pepperoni pretzel, so I was right about that, with 16 grams of fat, and that's with butter. Without butter, you've got 12 grams of fat. And then uh, the cinnamon sugar pretzel was close behind with 12 grams of fat, but without the butter, it's only one gram of fat. So be aware that most of your pretzels are gonna automatically come with butter, but they can absolutely make to order a pretzel without butter. That is what I did today. They can do it without butter and without salt, but you do have to ask for it. They probably don't have those stockpiled because let's be real, most people want the butter flavor on their pretzel. <laughs> I promise it's still really good without it. All right, moving on to the second category of pretzel dogs. Your highest protein pretzel dog 
really all of them are gonna range uh, between 11 and 12 grams on average, 20 grams of protein for the mini pretzel dogs, and that's with or without the butter. So just think if you're adding butter, you're adding fat so it's not affecting your protein content. The highest fiber item in the pretzel dog category, they all have one to two grams of fiber. Again, that's a really low amount of fiber when you're looking to hit somewhere between maybe 25 and 35 grams of fiber per day. Um, and all of these have a total of 33 to 56 grams of carbohydrates. That's a lot of carbs for a very small amount of fiber. It's a starchy carb, just, just keep that in mind. Really, we're talking about pretzels. They're all starchy carbs. Okay, and the highest fat item in the pretzel dog category is again the mini pretzel dogs with 30 to 35 grams of fat depending on whether they have no butter or added butter. That's a lot of fat for a pretzel dog. Like right now, and I, I mean, I'm dieting. I'm dieting, I get it. I'm not eating as much fat as a lot of people. I, I have about 50 grams of fat in my daily budget right now. There's no way I would want to get a pretzel dog because even though it would be fabulous and delicious and tasty, I don't want to spend 35 grams of my 50 total grams of fat per day in my fat budget, if you will, on a pretzel dog. I would prefer to get something lower in fat so that I can then spread my fats throughout the day on other other items. Category number three, pretzel nuggets. Okay, the highest protein, sorry, I'm kind of getting bit up out here a little bit. The highest protein item for pretzel nuggets were, can you guess? The pepperoni nuggets, which probably means they're the highest in fat as well. So pepperoni nuggets with and without butter had 16 grams of protein. Now highest in fiber, there were two grams of fiber in every type of pretzel nugget combination that was offered. Um, the total, well a 16 ounce serving is their, kind of their standard serving for the pretzel nuggets and total amount of carbs vary between 58 grams on the, on the low end all the way up to 99 grams on the high end. So again, two grams of fiber, Django, two grams of fiber for all of those carbs. It's just not the fabulous ratio, but you're not going there to get fiber, I know. And then highest fat, yes, it is the pepperoni pretzel nuggets. They have 16 to 20 grams of fat, depending on whether it's with or without butter. Okay, moving on to, hey buddy, do you wanna be in the video? You're so cute. Moving on to the next category. Category number four is dips and sauces. It is really nice that they do have the calories for all of this information like attached to the pictures when you go up and you look to order. But if you want the full nutrition facts, the PDF will be linked down below. They do provide that on their website, just not on their actual menu um, when, you're, when you're actually ordering. The highest protein item here, as far as the dips and sauces go, is the melted cheese. And it only has five grams of protein in it. So really, you're not coming to Annie Ann's for high fiber or for high protein. You're, you're going there because you want some carbs for the most part. But the melted cheese has the highest amount of protein. The highest amount of fiber dip is actually, you get two grams from the marinara. Most of these have zero grams of fiber because cheese is not going to have fiber because it's not gonna have carbohydrates in it unless they're added in. Um, cheeses are protein and fat sources and then marinara is you know, made from tomatoes as a base. So that is gonna have some carbohydrates, a little bit of veggies. So that is your best option if you're looking for a little bit of health, <laughs> a little bit. And then the highest, oh well the to total carb ranges for dips ranged from two grams of carbs all the way up to 39 grams of carbs. So you do have to be cautious on which one you get if you're trying not to go overboard, overboard when you're getting Annie Ann's pretzels. And then the highest fat item in this category was the melted cheese with 12 grams of fat. So again, actually not again, that's the only keto friendly item I would say is on this menu. That's why I like to mention the high fat items is if you do follow a ketogenic diet because it's kind of trendy these days, I just want you to be aware. You can't just get something that's high fat and assume that that's ketogenic because if it's high carb as well, it's not ketogenic. Ketogenic is very high fat, moderate protein, low to minimal carbohydrates. So moving on to category number five, breakfast products, mostly sandwiches and like uh, sticks and things like that. So the highest protein item in this area was the breakfast sausage sticks. With or without butter, it was 27 grams of protein, which is awesome, but keep in mind, because we're talking about sausage here, which is a high, like a fatty substance, because it's high in protein, we can already understand that that's gonna be very high in fat as well. The highest fiber item was actually also the breakfast sausage sticks. There's two grams of fiber. Again, we're not getting a bunch of fiber here. Total amount of carbs in this item was 65 grams. So just keep in mind, two grams to 65 grams is not a great ratio. And then the highest fat 
item with also the sauce, breakfast sausage stick. So sounds delicious, but 38 to 43 grams of fat for a breakfast sausage, sausage stick, and that's, uh, so 38 without butter, 43 grams with butter. That's just a lot of fat for one item and probably for most of us. So if you're trying to indulge, go for it, but guess what, I'm gonna save my indulgences for a fun Disney dessert if I'm going to Disney. But at least now you know. Moving on to category number six, we've got the pretzel pizzas. All right, you have two options here, cheese or pepperoni. So they're very similar. For the protein, you're gonna get 21 versus 25 grams for cheese or pepperoni. For fiber, they're gonna be three grams for both. For total carbs, 95 grams um, for both of them. And then fat is going to be uh, 23 grams versus 14 grams. Um, so 14 grams for the cheese, 23 grams for the fat. So you can see when you add pepperoni to things, you're getting more protein, but you're also getting more fat, so keep that in mind. Last category, it's category number seven. We're gonna talk about smoothies for a moment. I don't know if anybody is gonna to go to Annie Ann's for smoothies, but if you are, comment down below and let me know if they're any good. But here, here's your info on this. So they carry 16, 20, and 32 ounce smoothies. You're really not going to get any protein. You're gonna get anywhere from zero to two grams of protein regardless of the 16, 20, or 32 ounce size. And there's really not even a reason to talk about fiber in this category, but let's talk about high sugar instead. <laughs> the 16 ounce for sugar content is gonna be in the mid to high 50 grams of sugar. For the 20 ounce, you're gonna be in the 70s, and for the 32 ounce, you're gonna get about 110 grams of sugar from this drink. So if you are leaving the airport and headed to the gym for a leg day, maybe this is a really great option for you, but to just sip on a smoothie because you feel like it's probably healthy, um, that's a lot of sugar. Maybe you can handle it, maybe you totally need it. There are definitely those folks out there that would be a lot of sugar for somebody to consume, in my personal opinion, but do, do what you gotta do. This is just giving you the information so that you can make a judgment call. And then the highest fat item, there's only one smoothie on their menu that actually had fat in it, and that was their pina colada smoothie. And for their different sizes, you'll get five grams, seven grams, or 10 grams of fat in this particular smoothie. So if you want a little bit of fat, pina colada is where you need to go. Overall, this was not a place I would go to if you are about to get on a plane because you're gonna have all these carbohydrates and then you're gonna sit and you're not gonna use that energy. So it's just gonna get stored as fat pretty much. And um, you're, you're definitely not going here for fiber either. It's gonna be majority starchy carbs unless you're getting those smoothies where it's gonna be sugar carbs. So you're not gonna get, well you are gonna get low fat in most of these things comparatively. You're getting a moderate amount of protein when there's some pepperoni involved, but keep in mind that is when your, your, your fats bump up. So like, not a keto friendly location. They can do things vegan, vegetarian because they can take the butter off. So it will, they can do dairy free. They can do a very plain and simple pretzel as, as you saw in, in this clip in the B-roll here. So keep that in mind. While well, I love Annie Ann's and it's fabulously delicious when it comes to pretzels, if you're about to get on a plane or if you know that you're going straight to your hotel and you're just going to sit and lounge around, this is probably not the best item for you because you're just not gonna use it effectively as fuel. So that is what I have to say about Annie Ann's and pretzels. Obviously, I love pretzels. I ate one today, you watched me eat it, it was delicious. I encourage you to get one if you wanna try it. Again, the PDF for the Nutrition Facts is linked below. Let me know what your favorite pretzel is and uh, there's something new on the menu that you think I should try. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, hit that like button to let me know that you enjoyed this. Let me know what restaurant you wanna see me you know, do a little comparison on next and hit that subscribe button if you're new here because I make new videos every week about fitness, food, and travel to Disney World. All right, bye, love y'all, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Be empowered to make a change in your life and take the next step on your health and fitness journey. 